Welcome, come on in. Hi. So you would have heard people talking about, oh, this is actually HFMD, hand, foot and mouth disease, but not hand, foot and mouth disease. So what are they actually really talking about? Did you know that there is a different type of hand, foot and mouth disease called herpangina? Both diseases are actually caused by the same virus from the same family. So that actually means that sometimes some kids present with the classic symptoms of hand, foot and mouth disease where they have a rash on their hands, on the soles of their feet, on their legs or even on their arms and even on their buttocks as well and they can have the ulcers or the lesions in their mouth whilst on the other hand for herpangina they only have lesions and ulcers inside their mouth so at the back of their throat so treatment is exactly the same for both um, it's symptomatic relief and symptomatic therapy for these kids so then what about other kind of blistering rashes so you may know that other kind of diseases and other illnesses can cause blisters as well such as burns or scars on your skin you can get a blister there certain type of allergies or we call this contact dermatitis so if a child accidentally touches on something and causes an allergic reaction it can form a blister too there are other kind of infections such as chicken pox which can cause a blistering rash you may also get herpes infection where you can get ulcers and blisters as well um, you may also have like blisters in the mouth because of medications or other kind of like side effects from the different kind of drugs that you may be taking so not all blisters and not all ulcers are due to hand, foot and mouth disease you do need to go and see your doctor to get a review and get a checkup to find out what sort of rash it is hope you've learned something from today's session thanks for listening bye